Hey, how you doing? It's Clayton here from howtodrawcomics.net and the How to Draw Comics Academy, bringing you a very special live stream where I'll be taking you through a tour of the How to Draw Comics Academy. Yes, you've probably been wondering where the heck has Clayton been? Haven't seen him around social media a whole lot lately, and especially on the YouTube channel. And it's because I've been very, very busy most of my time throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the months since November has been spent inside the How to Draw Comics Academy. That's where I am right now doing three lessons a week that sometimes go for four hours. That's right, four hours covering the fundamentals of comic book illustration as well as some of the more advanced topics. And then once a week doing feedback sessions, very in-depth and comprehensive personalized feedback sessions for the members inside the academy. Because here's what my goal was when it came to creating the How to Draw Comics Academy in the first place. This is how I came up with the idea. I was trying to think what would be the most effective way, the most effective way to actually make a shift within the ability of aspiring comic book artists who felt like they were just not developing their their skill set at the pace at which they really wanted to be moving because hey we're aspiring comic book artists right we don't want to be spending our time learning and practicing proportions and anatomy and figure drawing and perspective and form and all that stuff that's not what we got into this comic art game we got into comic book illustration because we wanted to, to, to draw cool stuff we wanted to tell stories epic sagas with our il illustrative abilities with our artistic skill set and so how was i going to be able to enable people to do that because I looked at the stats. I looked at how many people were actually completing courses on Udemy and Skillshare, how many people were buying, investing in my courses and doing the lessons. And guess what? You'd be surprised to discover that only about 5%, such a small, insignificant number, 5% of people who actually purchase a course online finish it and even less will will well so about five percent finish it and then about 70 percent don't even start the course in the first place after they bought it so that's insane and that what, what that told me is that something needed to change courses really weren't working and if they're not working then what's the point in me creating them you know the, the reason that i teach is because i find it fulfilling there's no feeling more, uh, I guess, there's nothing that quite matches the feeling of seeing someone take on board what you have taught them, the knowledge that you've given them, watching them put it into practice, and then seeing a significant shift within the quality of their art seeing the joy they get out of being able to actually create the sort of artwork that inspired them to become a comic book artist in the first place. That's what I was seeking. That's what I was after. And that's why I decided to create the How to Draw Comics Academy. But in order to make the Academy work in the way that I wanted it to work, it needed more than just course content, it needed more than just pre-recorded lessons. That's why I implemented live lessons throughout the week, lessons that you could actually tune into, be there for, do the work as it's being taught, and leave that lesson with a with something to show for it, something to show for the time that you invested into it. And then, of course, what was the other missing component that none of these online courses seem to be delivering on? And that was that student-teacher interaction, the feedback and the personalized critiques that would actually enable someone to hone in on the specific areas within their art that they needed to focus on primarily in order to see the greatest strides in progress. And so I included all of that in the academy. I built it in, built the community as well. That was another huge thing that we're going to go over here in today's first showing, really, 
publicly on YouTube and on Facebook inside the How to Draw Comics Academy. Before we get into it, though, I want to say a really big hello to all the wonderful people tuning in right now. Thanks so much for being here. Please do drop me a, uh, a comment in the chat. Let me know what you're thinking, how you're feeling about this How to Draw Comics Academy. I'm super pumped and excited for it, and I hope that you are as well. So we've got Paulus Arts joining us in the chat. What's up, Paulus? Really wonderful to have you here. An absolute pleasure as always. We have uh, Tile Bun says, hello. What's going on, my friend? I hope that you're doing well this evening. We have Wolverine. What's up, Wolverine? Great to see you here. Uh, he says, look at this glorious man flaunting his bare head. Yes, some changes have occurred since I was last here on the YouTube channel. Changed my setup, completely got rid of the background, went for some more professional soft lighting. And yeah, I lost the beanie because, I mean, you know, the thing with these beanies is that you've got to keep on buying new ones because they, they start to, you know, they get the little balls of, of cotton that start to group together on the beanie, it starts to look old, it starts to look tattered. And I was just done with it, wearing a beanie every time. So I thought, hey, you know what? Here I am in full bald glory. And uh, well, Wolverine is is one of my bald brethren. So it's, it's good to be part of the club now, Wolverine. All right. Polis says, uh, Joe, Joe Bogan. Okay. All right. He's joking. He's all oh, right. Because of Joe Rogan. I gotcha. I hear. All right. Uh, and then we have, oh, look behind you. What's up? How are you doing, my friend? He says, looking good, my man. Well, thank you. You, I'm sure if I could see you right now, are looking very good too. Look behind you. So it's good to have you here. I hope that you're excited for this uh, stream. I'm excited for it. I really am. All right. We have Jack Ferry donating us a uh, $1.99. Thanks so much for joining us, Jack. He says, rest in peace, Ed Pisca. Yes, I heard about this uh, situation and, you know, it's it's just uh, there's nothing to be happy about this situation. There's nothing good to be said. It's uh, it's very sad. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just one of those things. But, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully everybody learns a lesson from it. Next up, we have uh, Dark Era says, Woo, I'm excited for this. I'm glad to hear that. Hell yeah, let's get pumped. All right, we've got uh, Pass, Pass Master Dan. Hey, Pass Master Dan, great to see you here. Always a pleasure, my friend. Hope that you've been doing well. Then we have uh, Wolverine saying, I chose to believe that I inspired you to embrace your boldness. Keep on believing that, Wolverine, because I'm sure that... <sighs> There's some truth to that. There's probably some truth to that. He gave me the confidence that I needed. All right. All right. Awesome to see everybody here. Thank you again for so much for joining me. And please do share out this stream, especially if you've got friends or family who are interested in learning how to draw comics, who really want to get a handle on this craft, because this, I believe, is probably the best opportunity for any comic book artist to really level up their abilities. I don't think that there's anything else better that's offered out there that could possibly achieve the significant results that comic book artists who are really dedicated to their craft are really after when it comes to online learning. I really don't. I think online learning in general needs to evolve and the academy, as at least within the comic art arena, is the first step to doing that. So. Without further ado, let me show you what the How to Draw Comics Academy is all about. I'm going to share my screen here. And uh, I guess I'll get my head up down here as well. Why not? A little bit more of engagement never goes astray. So, welcome to the How to Draw Comics Academy. This is a look inside the Academy itself. Think of this as an open day where I'm going to take you on a little tour here so that you can see exactly what's inside and know what to expect when you decide to sign up. All right. 
This is the How to Draw Comics Academy dashboard. So this is what you're met with when you first log in. And it's got everything you need right on the front page here. Okay, so you've got this Netflix style video or lesson gallery that is broken up into specific categories. Now, what you have to understand is that the How to Draw Comics Academy, it's still a baby. It's still growing. And boy, oh boy, have I got big plans for exactly where it's headed. Um, we've been so far over the last few weeks or the last few months, really, since the Academy opened in November 2023, we've been building out the fundamental category of the How to Draw Comics Academy library. And so you can see some of these lessons up here. We've been covering a lot of lessons on perspective recently, and it's not just one lesson on perspective. What you're going to see here is we're covering every single facet of it. We're not leaving any stone unturned when it comes to any of these core principles of dynamic drawing. We've got multi-point perspective. We've got building perspective grids off of your ideas. Okay, so that's a unique way that I specifically like to work with perspective that you don't see taught in very many other places in, in books. It's not a typical way of working with perspective, but I think that it's the best way that any comic book artist, if they want to really let their ideas flourish and yet still be able to draw them accurately in perspective, it's the best way of working that I've discovered. Then we've got drawing environments in perspective. So we make sure the, the rubber hits the road with this stuff. I like to apply the principles to actual practical uh, topics within comic book illustrations, such as characters and weapons and environments. Like I said, we're just getting into foreshortening. In fact, throughout the coming week, this very week, we'll be doing at least three lessons on different aspects of foreshortening. So foreshortening characters, going through everything we went through in perspective, but within the context of foreshortening. Another very important aspect of comic book illustration that so many artists struggle with. But, uh, you know, the, the whole point of the How to Draw Comics Academy is to make sure that it's no none of this stuff is any longer a mystery for you, that you're able to learn it, apply it, and then build your confidence as you practice the right way of utilizing these tools, because that's what I like to think of them as, as tools that you can use within the context of your idea, rather than your idea being used within the context of the tool set. You know, we get this wrong so many times. We we put the um, cart before the horse with this stuff. It's always going to be the idea that will take precedent over any comic book illustration that you set out to create. And it's just perspective and foreshortening and anatomy and proportions, these principles that will allow us to make sure that that all checks out in the end, that it looks accurate, that it looks believable. Really, that's what we're trying to create with this stuff is a certain sense of believability. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of perspective lessons that we've gone through here. You know, this is, again, this is the Netflix style library that features the categories and lessons that you can just directly start watching in the academy. And by the way, when you click on these, what it will open up is a brand new tab within your web browser. And it's going to show you, and I'll actually demonstrate this in a minute. It'll show you a very fast streaming uh, representation of that lesson. So some of these lessons you have to understand that, for example, this how to draw figures in perspective, how to foreshorten the human figure. These lessons went for three to four hours, right? So if you're trying to download a video file like that, which you have the option of doing, I'm going to show you that in a little bit. But if you're trying to download it, you know, off of off of Google Drive, it's going to take a little bit of time, especially if you want to stream it through the browser. And so what I did was I made sure that I uploaded all these video lessons to a fast streaming service called bunny.net, where if you click on these on these lessons, no matter what part of the world you're in, you're not going to have to wait for any loading time whatsoever. It's going to load very, very fast. You'll be able to watch those lessons straight up without really any waiting time in between. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff in the figure drawing lessons. All of these categories, as I said, they're going to be filled out, simplified interpretations of the male figure. We're going to talk about the female figure later on as well. And then here's the other really cool thing is that when you sign up to the How to Draw Comics Academy, not only do you get access to all these brand new lessons that I'm putting out every single week, you also just automatically are going to be able to 
delve into the previous workshops that I've gone through. Some of these workshops haven't ever been released to the public. So the sequential storytelling workshop, for example, you know, that's not one that you can buy on howtodrawcomics.net. You can't buy it on Skillshare. You can't buy it on Udemy. You can only get access to it now in the How to Draw Comics Academy. Same with the Character Creator Workshop, okay? Another really huge workshop that, man, we took a month on this thing, really figuring out exactly what in, went into creating uh, and designing and building out a full-blown comic book character. And then, of course, the Heads and Faces workshop, with which some of you might have uh, seen different lessons from so far. Beyond that, we've also got the, uh, the latest comic art demos. So what I really wanted to show the members within the How to Draw Comics Academy who decide to invest, who decide to really commit to developing their passions in this wonderful, wonderful field that we we all have a fondness for, is I wanted not only to show them the the fundamental tools that they needed to actually create their illustrations and how they all worked, but I wanted to show them what happened when they applied them to something real, to an actual illustration. And so what you're going to see here is this library within the academy gradually grow. We've got a few already, but we've got full demonstrations here of comic book covers. We're going to have comic book pages, so completed comic book pages, and just in general illustrations that I've recorded, taken from start to finish, from initial rough pencils through to polished inks. And you're going to see the entire process unfold as I execute the... Uh, the development of each of these illustrations using the tools that I've taught in these fundamentals lessons. So, you know, we, we bring it full circle, right? And this is just on the front page, by the way. You've got the newest live recordings here because he, here's one of the perks about the How to Draw Comics Academy is that most of the lessons that you're going to experience within the Academy, they're all aired live first, privately to the members in the Academy, which means you get the live experience. And hey, if you can't make it to the live experience, no worries. You can always tune in later on and catch the recordings after. And all the recordings, by the way, as I'll show you very soon, can be located within either the Academy Learning Program or the Vault. There's a lot of fun stuff we're going to tuck into here. So just yeah, bear with me. It's going to be great. Next up, we got the Academy timetable. So it might be a little bit hard for you to see here, but you can, you might be able to notice that we've got these uh, lessons that are actually coming up this week. So on the eighth, we've got foreshortening fundamentals, and I believe this is yeah, foreshortening fundamentals. We've we've actually gone through that already. Um, foreshortening anatomy, we're going to get into. Okay, so that's another big one. And a lot of these lessons, guess what they're inspired from? They're inspired from the questions that I get from the members of the academy. When they want to figure out how to do something, when they ask me a question, I go, hey, you know what? Let's just dedicate an entire few hours to solving this specific problem. And that's really what inspired this lesson that's coming up just this week is foreshortening anatomy. You know, it's one thing to foreshorten a cylinder, but how do you foreshorten an arm that has a bicep, a tricep, and forearm muscles attached to it? How do you represent it from a multitude of different angles and make it look dynamic and impactful on the page? That's what this lesson is going to be all about. And like I said, these aren't just teeny tiny little 10 minute lessons. We go super in depth on this stuff and spend you know, three to four hours covering it in every single facet that it can possibly be covered in. And I get you to put pencil to paper along the way. So you're not just watching passively, you're actually putting that knowledge into action and gaining the experience getting a piece of work as well from the lesson that you've uh, executed along the way. Um, and then we've got, yeah, foreshortened figure poses. That's going to be a lot of fun. We've got composition coming up next week. Okay, and that will really wrap up a lot of our fundamentals lessons because we've, we've covered that so much when it comes to fundamentals. We've covered form, we've covered perspective, we've covered proportions. All this stuff, super in-depth. And then guess what? Guess what we're getting into next month? 
It's one of the, the topics that I'm most excited for, and that is anatomy. We're going to be covering every single aspect of the male and the female body as far as anatomy is concerned, talking about all the different nuances that go into it, and not only how to make sure that you're capturing all the correct muscle groups within the human body, but then how to stylize them in a, in a impactful way on the page, how to actually represent them in your own interpretation and make it look good. Again, it's going to be a heck of a lot of fun. And now here's one of the other things within the academy that I'm most proud of, which is our community. And this is our recent community post here on the dashboard, but we'll actually jump into the community in just a little bit. And yeah, it, this, is, uh, this is just where everything starts to become a whole lot more fun as you learn. Because when you're learning on your own and it's just you sitting at the desk or watching a lesson, you know, that's that's okay. You know, that's how I learned. And I certainly got good learning in that way. But when you've got like-minded artists who are in the academy with you, watching these lessons with you, and then you'll notice in just a little bit that not only do the community members of the academy actually watch the lessons but they do the exercises and post them in the community for feedback and you see that and it makes you realize wow you know this is possible if if i do the work i can actually get similar results to what i'm seeing my my fellow peers within the academy achieve right now so it's just a really inspiring place to be and it's really great to see the direction which it's growing thus far it's uh, it's really awesome so now that we've covered the academy dashboard you know as I said, you get access to everything within the academy right on the dashboard here if you want a shortcut to it but you've also got this secondary menu which i'm going to take you through right now and by the way if you have any questions throughout this little tour this open day that we're doing of the how to draw comics academy please do leave them in the live chat and i'll be happy to answer them for you at the end so you can see i've been a very very busy artist uh, and teacher uh, all right so let's jump into the academy pro learning program so the reason that the academy learning program came about is because one of the th one of the uh I guess you could say pieces of feedback that I received when the Academy first began, because I'm listening. I'm listening very, very hard to what the existing members of the Academy are saying. They're telling me what they want to see. They're telling me what is missing from the Academy. And I know that if I listen very carefully to them, that I can add those additional things to the Academy and I'll make it that much better of a place. I'll make it that much more effective at the mission that we're setting out to accomplish here. And one of those things was, okay, there's a lot of information within the academy, a lot of lessons to tuck into, but there wasn't necessarily an order to which they should be tackled. And that's when I created the Academy Learning Program. And what this is, is I've taken basically all of the lessons that we've done live thus far, and I've uploaded the recordings into a library of sorts that's extremely organized and categorized so that you know when you join the academy, depending on your skill level and where you're at, exactly where to begin here. And so you can see at the top, we've got beginners, intermediate, advanced, resources. And in the beginners, We've actually broken that down into fundamentals, figure drawing, and anatomy. And so within the beginner's category, you have the beginner's topics that fall into it. So it's you just figure out where you're at. Do you feel like you're a beginner? If you're a beginner, you jump in here to the Academy Learning Program. You click on beginners. Now, at what point within the the beginner's cycle are you in are you still at the fundamentals are you ready for figure drawing do you feel like you're confident enough to jump into anatomy and so if you start here this is i mean this is as simple as it gets right we've got an entire lesson that goes for multiple hours just on working with lines so capturing different line qualities different line languages and styles and using line weights it's one of my most proud lessons that i've ever done because it just leans so far into what I feel makes for a impactful drawing, one that stands out from the rest. Because look, meek lines do not make a great artwork, unfortunately. You've got to make sure that they're strong, energetic, streamlined, and slick, most importantly. And so, yeah, we start right at the beginning with the, the, 
different line styles that you can use. And then we just build our way up from there. We're talking about shape from that point onward. Sculpting shape, such an important lesson. I literally use the concepts that I cover in this lesson in every single drawing that I set out to create, regardless of its complexity. Shape language, shape sculpting is just absolutely paramount to being a masterful comic book artist. But then we upgrade from shape. We go into the world of 3D and we start talking about drawing primitive forms, combining those geometric forms, presenting them within perspective, and let's see where we end up here. Oh, and then we get into these really uh, advanced uh, form lessons where we talk about basic, uh, basically breaking down anything that you could think of drawing into simple forms and then rebuilding them from different angles that you might not be able to see based upon your reference. So we've got two volumes of that. We cover it in depth. You can see this, you might be able to see this bison here. It's pretty nuts, pretty, really, really cool stuff. But so this is just in the fundamentals section of the beginners uh, category inside the Academy Learning Program. But then we get into figure drawing. We've got a bunch of lessons there that we've already filled out. And then we have anatomy. And as you can see there, we've got a lot of anatomy lessons going on where we jump into, at this point, the, the main structure of the face, the features that it consists of. But you can bet that all of these different sections are going to be continued to are going to be continually built out week after week, month after month, as we expand upon the different topics within these categories. And there's a lot that I want to cover, as you can imagine. You know, we've got the female torso here, but we're going to have the male torso. We're going to have male arms, female arms, male legs, female legs. We're going to cover every single square inch of the human body and make sure that you totally get it. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Then we get into the intermediate. And what you can see here is that there's uh, within the, the, as a placeholder for the gallery of lessons that will ultimately be here, we have a coming soon sign. And that's because these haven't been filled out yet, right? The Academy, as I said before, is still a baby, still growing, still maturing. And that means that we're going to be adding lessons to each one of these categories. But what you get here is a a future representation of where the academy is ultimately headed and where I want to take it, the, the vision that I have for it. In the end, we're going to be getting into more advanced topics like inking, coloring, style development, sequential storytelling, which is really the, the core of creating comic book illustrations, right? The core of drawing comics. You've got to be able to tell sequential stories. We've also got this, and this is one of my favorite parts of the How to Draw Comics Academy, and one that I will later be focusing on even more because I feel like it's just so important to make sure that as artists, we've got the right references to work from, the uh, the, the breakdowns, the, dis the descriptions that we need in order to, for this stuff to really click. And I feel like as, as much as that the four-hour lessons are great and, in and are incredibly valuable, Sometimes all you need is like a five page breakdown of exactly how to execute one aspect of comic book illustration. Maybe you don't want to sit through the four hours of tutelage that's available on that particular topic. Maybe you just want to get the, the gist of it, see a visual representation of it, and then you know figure out your own path through it. And the reason that I came to that conclusion and why I think references are so much more valuable, especially educational, like diagrammatic references, are so much more valuable to us than we realize is because I don't know about you, but when I'm sitting down drawing a comic book illustration, I can guarantee you I've got a bunch of references up there next to me that are dependable, that I'm going to look at whenever I run into problems. And so that's what I want to provide people here within the academy. And guess what? It's the same situation for the other artists I know. They've always got references up there that they are working from in order to inspire them, in order to make sure that their anatomy and their proportions and everything else checks out, in order to make sure that their art remains consistent. Okay, so that's what you're seeing the beginning uh, building of here within our resources library inside the Academy Learning Program. 
And so you've got things like, well, as I said, you've got references. So we've got a whole bunch of uh, back references here that I've uploaded. We've got some male torso references. I mean, look at that. And back in the day when I was trying to figure out anatomy and just how to present it, you know, I knew where the abs went. I knew where the pecs went on the human body, but I didn't know how to present it. And so I'd be out there on Google Images trying to look for examples of how David Finch or Mark Silvestri drew the male torso, drew the human body. Well, you know, I wanted to make that as easy as possible possible for you to figure out within the academy when you became a member because uh, you know you've got these these references right here front side back couldn't make it clearer and so that's and it also got breakdowns of it too so you get the mannequin model version of the male torso the box version of the male torso and then we've got these proportion charts as well so we delve really in depth on this and I try to break it down into as many components as possible so that you do not miss a beat when it comes to drawing anything when it comes to comics. And of course later on we're going to add to this, I'm going to get some female anatomy going on in there, design uh, references, you know, if you want to design creatures, if you want to design different archetypes of character, I want to make sure that that's available to you. It's going to take some time and we're going to be building the academy together which is the beauty of it so a lot of what the academy has already become even at this point is all thanks to the members that are within it currently they've helped me to build it out they've told me what they wanted and i've listened and that's why it is the way that it is now and uh and why I'm really looking forward to where it's headed as well. We've got brushes that you can download. These are free, by the way. These are the brushes that I use this one here to color, and I use this one over here to draw within Clip Studio Paint. It's one of the best brushes that I've ever used is Mark Brunet's Legendary Lineup Brush. You can download it from Cube Brush, but we've also got it available here in the uh, Academy Library. It links to the Cube Brush link, of course. But just these resources that you have at your disposal that you can you know if you're looking for something that you can utilize to push your art forward to help you execute easier what it is you want to draw on the page we've got it all right here within the how to draw comics academy next up we've got tools so these are some of my favorite tools ever that i like to use when it comes to comic book illustration got pure ref so what pure ref is is it's this this giant canvas that you can open up whenever you want and organize your references on okay and you can create different canvases for different reference libraries that you might have so let's say for example that you wanted to draw some superheroes design some superheroes and you collected a whole bunch of superhero references and you organize them all onto your pure ref canvas you can save that out as your superhero reference sheet and the next time that you open up pure ref if you want to jump back into the uh, the canvas you can just reopen it up which is a heck of a lot better than the way that i used to do it which is i'd have folders on my computer full of references and i'd sort of get them up and try to line them up with one another and but i had to do that every single time with pure ref you don't have to you just organize your reference library once you can pan around you know zoom in zoom out on your references it just makes the whole process for referencing anything that much more streamlined then we have figure study practice uh, from the comfort of your own home so this is a website called line of action absolutely perfect for getting your figure drawing down practicing it on a daily basis highly recommend that that's how i got it good at drawing characters in a variety of different poses from pretty much any angle i can think of was just doing daily figure drawing studies and then i don't know if you know this or not but Photoshop CS2 is actually free. You can download it completely legally. And uh, and I've got a link to it here within the tools in the uh, resources library in the Academy. And the reason that it's free is because something happened with Adobe where I know their keys for the software became uh, invalid or got released at the same time or, or something like that. There was some hiccup from Adobe that caused them to have to basically release Adobe Photoshop CS2 for free. And the reason I wanted to include it here is because all of my early artwork was done using Adobe CS2. It does everything you could possibly need it to do when it comes to drawing, when it comes to, well, digital drawing, when it comes to coloring, when it comes to inking. If you got the right brushes there to utilize this application, uh, you know, it's awesome you know it does everything that the latest versions at least 
a majority of the latest versions of Photoshop does. And it does it pretty good. I sat with CS2 for a really long time before upgrading just because it was it did the job, did everything that I needed it to do. So it's available there as well. Now, we've also got a books list I've been starting to build out here within the Academy. And a lot of the suggestions, in fact, are coming from the Academy members as they post them into the suggestions area of the forum, which is really cool. Again, it's the members that are helping me to build this academy. And if you join the academy, then you will be helping me to build it out too. And it'll be becoming exactly whatever it is you need it to be in order to move forward with your art. So this is a really cool little part of the uh, academy um, resources that I just love. You know, there's going to be, I, I can just envision an entire library of books here that you can click onto. And by the way, when you do click onto these, it just takes you to an Amazon link. And, uh, and you can buy it right there and then. It's convenience. Okay, so that's the Academy Learning Program. A lot of cool stuff in here. So there's the structure that you're looking for. There is the, um, the, the convenience. There's, you know, if you, you're never going to be lost as to where to begin, depending on the level at which you're at as a comic book artist within the How to Draw Comics Academy. So let's move on here live classroom. You know, I know I'm just throwing a ton of perks and information and, and features here within the academy, but man, there's, there's so much to cover. So we've got the live classroom. We'll hit that. And uh, the live classroom is one of the unique aspects of the academy that sets it apart from everything else. What this is, is it's a live stream, much like the one that you're watching right now that shows you the lesson that will be cut that well that, that shows a live um, stream of the lesson that is currently taking place um, now there's sometimes they're live lessons or sometimes they are actually feedback and critique sessions and so um, here this is actually quite a long one you can see that this feedback and critique session actually went for four and uh, and a half hours, basically. And what you're noticing here is that we've got a student who's actually gone ahead and executed what they learned from the drawing weapons in perspective lesson. And, um, and th they're actually practicing it right then and there. They're getting the feedback from me. So this is really how the academy works is you watch the lesson and then you take action on what you've learned from that lesson. Then you get the feedback, the personalized feedback from me during these feedback and critique sessions. So again, it's full circle, right? It's the missing link that just was not present in so many other digital courses that you were able to find online through Udemy, through your Skillshare. Yes, the functionality was there within those sites, but it wasn't happening um, simply because you know, with the How to Draw Comics Academy, I created it, so I'm very, very invested. I'm the only instructor in there right now, besides the guest instructors that come in every now and then, uh, which is going to happen more and more as I start to build the academy and bring in the, the specialized uh, artists who uh, have their own fields of expertise that, uh, man, I, I look up to in my own right. So of course I got to get them in there. You know, some, uh, if I could get David Finch to teach a class within the How to Draw Comics Academy, that's my dream. That's my ultimate goal. So that's what I want to give the members at some point. But for now, really predominantly the lessons that are featured within the Academy, it's all me. And so I'm fully in it. I want to make sure that everybody is seeing significant changes within their work, that they are improving, that they're not just there in the academy wasting their time. And that's why I go through and I do these four hour plus feedback and critique sessions. And I some of these um, these works that are submitted, I'll spend half an hour on on just one member within the academy, making sure that they're understanding and getting right what they need to have corrected within their work so that they can leave that feedback and critique session, work on that specific area within their art throughout the next week, submit something new, and then once more, get feedback, com pushing them further and further along the road to the kind of success that they're looking for within their art. It's awesome. It's a collaboration between me and them. It's that 
teacher-student interaction that is absolutely necessary when it comes to learning anything. When it comes, think of it like a coach, think of it like a mentor, if you will, because that's kind of what this is, at least to some extent. We got the latest recordings under here. So every single one of these live sessions, this is actually the replay that you're seeing here. Obviously we're not live within the classroom right now, but the replay is immediately available after the live lesson is aired. How cool is that? So as I said, no matter what part of the world you're in, even if you miss it, no matter what time this is featured, you're always going to get access to the live to the recording of the live session. But what's really great about being there live is that you get to chat with me. Uh, you get to ask questions. I'm there to answer them. If you're in doubt about anything that we're covering throughout the lesson, throughout the feedback sessions. And so that's really the perk of being there for the live showing of that session. But here's the other important aspect of the live, uh, of the live uh, streams is that they keep you accountable. You know, they're scheduled in. And if you know that there is a live lesson or there's a live feedback and critique session happening, there's a greater chance of you being there. And when you're there, you're doing the work, you're engaged. And I just feel like we need as much of that as possible in the modern age of distraction that all of us have to contend with. You know, whatever can keep you sitting in the seat, paying attention to the screen and putting pencil to paper when it comes to learning comic book illustration, especially in an online sense. Well, the Academy is trying to employ every single asset that we possibly can in order to make sure that that happens, that, that people are seeing progress. You know, that's ultimately what matters is that you as an artist sees progress when you sign up to the How to Draw Comics Academy. As I said, we got access to the live uh, recordings down here and um, yeah, pretty much all of them are there. There's feedback and critique sessions that are passed there. There is all the lessons um, that we featured as well, all the workshops. We, we're even doing drawing gym sessions, so we'll probably bring those back. And again, we're, we're testing things out. We're experimenting within the academy. It's a lot of fun. And then we've got the How to Draw Comics Academy timetable under here again. So again, you don't miss a beat. All right, next up, we have the How to Draw Comics Academy Vault. And the How to Draw Comics Academy Vault at first looks a lot like the Academy Learning Program, except it's not as structured. So what you're going to see up here is all the latest lessons that have come out and in the order from newest to oldest. OK, so. Um, Basically, it's self-explanatory in, in that way. But at the same time, it's also been split up into different categories as well. So we've still got the fundamentals here, which are ordered from where you're supposed to begin to where you're supposed to be end up uh, to where you're supposed to end up. Then we've got ca characters. So this covers all the character stuff. And then we've got uh, coloring. So we've got Sean Ellery's volume one coming soon. Still, still editing that one. Um, yeah, so again, lots and lots of stuff. These are all the lessons that we have basically streamed thus far within the Academy since November 2023. As you can see, we're making a lot of progress and with three lessons coming out every single week. I mean, how many lessons is that a month? That's got to be, man, three times four, what, like 12 new lessons a month? I mean... It's insane, right? Like that is such a huge volume of information. These libraries are going to be filling out very, very quickly. And that's what I'm most excited about is just having this vast, massive resource of information for comic book artists who are really ready to get serious and level up their abilities. We've got demonstrations here. So we talked about those. They're available on the dashboard as well, accessible there. And you know, like this company men uh, demonstration, that one went for... Man, maybe like went for hours, went for like six hours or something like that. So, yeah, you get the whole uh, lowdown on exactly what goes into a full comic book illustration that is executed at this level of complexity. And uh, what more could you ask for? But the fundamentals, then you actually get to see how those fundamentals are used in action. 
It's awesome stuff. Then we've got courses. So here within the How to Draw Comics Academy, you get access to every single course that are previously released. We talked about the workshops before, but you also get access to the figure drawing proportions, character creator superheroines, character creator the making of E. Again, these go for you know superheroines went for five hours, showed you how to create three complete female comic book characters from start to finish from initial sketches all the way through to inks to colors and how to present them in a professional way and then we talked to, and then we um did the uh, comic art masterclass of the crimson cat we've also got the how to light characters and scenes so you get access to all these courses all of these learning packages that i've done up in the past and you know what all of the future stuff that i'm doing is predominantly going to be released within the academy so if you want it you gotta get in the academy okay uh, because that's where i'm spending most of my time now most of my energy it just seems to be the biggest return on investment, not just for me, but for the students that decide to jump in and invest within their passions inside the How to Draw Comics Academy. Next up, we got the feedback and critique session. So every single feedback and critique session is recorded and uploaded to this section of the How to Draw Comics Academy vault. You can see that we've done a fair few of those thus far. In fact, there's still a few more that I need to upload. So it'll be coming really soon. But man, these are absolutely amazing because it's not just it's not just the person that's being critiqued that gets value out of these feedback and critique sessions it's also the other people who are watching because if there's one person that is coming up against a particular problem within their art and they get a solution for it there's a very good chance that a whole bunch of other artists just got a solution for the same problem that they're facing in their art currently so Everybody learns something. Everybody gets something out of these feedback and critique sessions. And then we've got, of course, the same resources section that we had in the Academy Learning Program. But now let me show you the community, okay? Because this is another really unique aspect of the How to Draw Comics Academy is the emphasis, the focus on community. And I'm just going to show you, um, let's take a look at, let's see here, we've got there's so much cool stuff to cover here. Let's go to all posts. Um, so we've got uh, Reggie. I'm pretty sure Reggie is actually a new member of ours. We've got Robert Rowe. And so let me tell you about Dominic. Dominic is actually one uh, artist who I've mentored multiple times before. And I got him to join the How to Draw Comics Academy. And I set him a challenge to post one completed illustration per week within the academy and he's been keeping up with that like the academy man it keeps you accountable there is uh, no question about that accountability is a huge huge deal when it comes to consistently practicing and seeing as a result consistent improvement within your art um let me jump down here okay so man i gotta highlight edge so edge is just i mean he's a killer artist look at this crazy creatures that he's been drawing it absolutely blows me away but man you know edge has been making some awesome improvements he already had an incredible amount of talent as it was the thing is is that you're going to find peers within the how to draw comics academy community that both inspire you and also teach you different things about yourself as an artist they're there to support you when you're feeling down about your art, when you need help, when you're coming up against different challenges, they're there to encourage you and to um, you know, give you a high five when you're actually making strides, when you're making progress within your art, when you're hitting those wins. So it's just a really great place to be if you're a comic book artist, you know, because as many of us know, it's sort of a lonely journey when you're on the path of becoming a comic art master. You can't really talk to your friends and family about it because they're probably not interested in it, at least on the same level that you are. And so a lot of the peer groups that you're going to find within the comic book art arena are online. But within this, especially a tight-knit group such as the How to Draw Comics Academy community, where everybody is learning and they're actively engaged in that process of trying to improve their art, you know, it's different to finding a Facebook group where people are just showcasing their stuff, right? Okay, that's cool. But when you, you're actually in it together and you're learning together, you're going through the same lessons together, that's when you can get very, very pinpointed help 
on exactly the exact areas that you need to focus in on and improve or the areas that you need to know that you're, you've got taken care of, that you're doing right. Because sometimes, of course, we can worry about things that really don't need to be worried about, things that we already have a handle on that we are just overthinking. Rex is another really amazing artist that has just been absolutely killing it within the How to Draw Comics Academy community. This is some beautiful stuff that they've been working on. And, you know, i got to tell you that Rex has shown an incredible amount of dedication being within the Academy because every single feed piece of feedback that I've given Rex, they've applied and they've actually seen improvement within their art as a result. And it's just amazing to see how each one of these pieces, as the changes that are suggested are applied to them, evolve. You know, you set them side by side and it's just, it's night and day in, in some instances. We've got James here suggesting a book, um, and uh, and I'm sure many of you are familiar with this book, Bart Sears, Drawing Powerful Heroes 2. We've got Wendy, another really talented artist. Man, I learn stuff from Wendy. You know, this isn't just an inspiring place for the members of How to Draw Comics Academy. This is an inspiring place for me as well. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of beautiful artwork here. You can see James doing some of the foreshortening studies that we went over in the previous lesson. You know, this is what I'm talking about, putting this stuff into action. As you can see, it's a very, very engaged community. We've got Edge posting inspirational imagery from really, really talented artists that I, even I haven't heard of before, but I look at this and I just go, wow, that's amazing. I'm going to save that as a reference. You can see Rex's previous uh, iteration of the whodunit piece that they were working on. And uh, and yeah, this is just yeah, beautiful, beautiful work. Yeah, Rex is very active within the community. So is Robin. Robin's always, look, look there's Robin actually uh, applying what they've learned from the uh, lesson that we covered on drawing weapons in perspective. Amazing stuff. Uh, Matt Nicola with his Ninja Turtles. Yeah, this is just really, really cool, super exciting, and it just gets you in the zone. It gets you in the frame of mind that you need to be on in order to guarantee your success, in order to make it that much more inevitable. Because, you know, if you become the average of the five people you hang out with most, you want to be hanging out. If you want to become a pro comic book artist, you want to be hanging out with other comic book artists. And uh, all of these posts, by the way, are broken up into different categories. We've got the feedback and critique section where I actually pull artwork from for the feedback and critique sessions that we do in the How to Draw Comics Academy live classroom. Then we've got bugs and suggestions. So if you find anything that's wrong with the Academy, you can always let me know there. We've got the ask and learn. So let's check out what's being posted here. Um, yeah, people just asking like why am i finding this so hard why do i feel discouraged and you know what's really awesome is you get people actually replying to this and giving really like you, you can see that the other members within the academy they're not just giving you know answers that are just passive or you know there's not much thought or effort put into them you can see Hiram's answer to this particular post is just huge like it's it's a it's almost a full page from a book or something like that it's really amazing to see this kind of thing edge as well just awesome stuff so you know the other members within the academy they actually care about your success as a comic book artist okay and then next up beyond the community we've got the timetable we've got a specific tab for the timetable so you can access that um, directly just if you're, you're looking to see what's coming up throughout the coming weeks what lessons are planned so if you already know a particular topic and you, don't, you can't really be bothered being there for that particular lesson then that's totally fine you can skip it because you know what's coming up or if there is a topic that you really really want to know about you can make sure that you're there at the time at which it's uh, scheduled in for and then finally we've got the downloads so Having the uh, the videos, the video lessons stream really, really fast through your browser is one thing, and that's really great. But some people actually want to keep these lessons so that they can travel with them, uh, so that they can watch them on their portable devices, that kind of thing. Maybe they don't necessarily have an internet connection all the time. And so this download section, basically, it has a lot of the lessons already there. I'm still updating this, but they're going to, it's going to have every single lesson that is 
recorded in the live and uh, and stored within the Academy library available for download right here. So you'll be able to just download them, keep them forever if you want to, even if you unsubscribe from the Academy and watch them when and wherever you like with an internet connection or without an internet connection. So again, that was another suggestion. Basically, the, the reason that this has evolved is that people wanted to be able to stream lessons in their light, in their browser really fast. So that was convenience, made sure that that could happen. And then they wanted the ability to download it as well. So made sure that that was available too. So every single little bit of feedback that I've received has helped me to just step up the quality of the Academy and make it super awesome for anybody who's a member of it. So let me show you for a second here uh, what happens when you actually click on one of these lessons and just how how very fast they, they stream because I'm, I'm really proud of this particular aspect of the Academy, the, the quick streaming that we have here, no matter where in the world you are. It's gonna look a little bit funny here because I actually need to share the um, the entire screen as I do this, but We'll just do that really, really fast. I'll jump over to here. And so let's say that we decide that we want to watch the foreshortening fundamentals. If we click on that now, it's going to come up and we can just hit play and look how quickly that streams. By the way, did I mention that that is a four hour and 16 minute lesson and there's no waiting time on it whatsoever? That's because bunny.net really allows you to be able to, I guess, like, I don't know, preload different different portions of the video as you watch it. It's I don't know how it works. All I know is there's multiple servers set up around the globe and it's really convenient. But yeah, we, we get really in depth to every single topic that we tackle. Look, let's look at another one. Okay, let's keep things interesting here. All right, let's take a look at well, how to draw figures in perspective. All right, we'll click on that one. And as you can see, instant loading time right absolutely beautiful stuff and it's it's all really practical knowledge okay this isn't this isn't fast forwarded it's not time lapsed you can literally follow with a pen and paper you don't even need to be working digitally you can follow with a pencil and paper and execute every single step i'm showing you on the screen so that this stuff sticks right look at that we covered so much ground in this one and yeah, that one was another one where that was it was that one was an hour and a half, so not too crazy. But um, yeah, so that's the that's the how to draw comics academy. Pretty awesome stuff. Let me just uh, jump out of that one and jump back into the academy learning program. There, cool. That is the how to draw comics academy and what you can expect to get inside of it, what you can have access to. And you can have access to it today for 30% off, by the way, because I've got a special discount code in the description below. Okay, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on Facebook, within the description, there should be a special discount code. I believe it's something along the lines of Academy Open Day. If you use that discount code when you sign up, it's going to give you 30% off of your membership recurring. So it's a lifetime discount. That means every single month you'll get 30% off of your membership for as long as you stay subscribed. But the catch is that that discount code, it's going to expire by, I believe it's about the 10th, so Wednesday or something like that. Yeah, so in about four days. So just make sure that if you want to jump on board and you want to get into the Academy for 30% off, you utilize that as soon as possible. But yeah, that's the How to Draw Comics Academy. As you can tell, I'm super excited about it. I can barely keep my sentences straight. And it's just because I, the vision that I have for it, like, let me, let me tell you something else I've been thinking of doing. So I thought instead of just doing these lessons as video lessons, what if I was to create a, a component to the lesson that was sort of like a little info booklet that was related to the topic of that lesson, complete with references, complete with breakdowns so that you got the full package there. I thought that'd be brilliant. And that's another thing I wanna to do to push the academy and the quality of value that is available there forward, how I wanna evolve it. And, you know, I can picture it just 
a year or two from now, how big it's going to be, how much content is going to be packed into that academy, what you're going to be able to get out of it, and the the development and the progress that the academy members would have made over that course of time, it's just, it's really, really exciting to think about. All right, let me go through some of the comments here, and uh, I'm going to go back a little bit. Just make sure that uh, I'm not missing anything. I'm going to answer your questions. So if you have any other questions about the How to Draw Comics Academy, please do let me know in the chat. Don't be shy. I'm here to answer them. I've been waiting uh, with a great anticipation to show you everything that's available within the Academy, and I'm very, very proud and glad to be able to present it to you here today. All right. Let's take a look here. What I'll do is uh, I'm going to start at the top here. All right. So uh, Dark Era said, I'm excited for this. Woohoo! That's great. Oh, we already read that part. All right. Dark Era says, I'm doing a David Finch study right now and watching you, David, Ed, Robert, and all the freaking time. Well, that's really awesome to hear, Dark Era. It sounds like you're truly dedicated to developing your abilities as a comic book artist. And I know with that kind of attitude that you are going to go far, my friend. There's no doubt about that. We've got Comics Mate joining us in the chat. Comics Mate, Dean, uh, did a, it was so kind and so gracious to do a guest lesson for us within the Academy on drawing monster portraits. So if you wanna see that one, that one is available within the Academy. Again, thank you, Dean. He's a, just a natural when it comes to teaching this stuff. We've got, um, yeah. Yeah, I do look a little bit look like Lex Luthor, don't I, Dean? I've been through some changes, man. What can I say? I've, I've been shifting things around. Uh, we'll see how it sticks. I don't know. I don't know. I think that it's, um, you know, it's working. I look a bit like a villain, but we'll see. We'll see how long it lasts for. <laughs> All right. Next up, we've got Atheline. Atheline says, how comics get Wolverine, Polis Arts, and Past Master Dan. Hail to you, Atheline. It's really great to see you here. Always a pleasure, my friend. Uh, Shadowworks Media says, amazing Clayton, being a student at HTDCA has been very rewarding. I'm so very pleased to hear that, my friend. And, you know, it's uh, it's members like you who make the Academy possible. I've been able to. I've had the opportunity to go in there every single week and smash out lessons with you guys. But it's only because of the members that jumped on board early on and really gave the Academy its lifeblood to keep it going. So thank you so much for being a part of it. And I really do hope that it's paying off for you, Shadowworks Media. We have Magic Man. He says, let's go. Saw this post on Facebook. Hello, everyone. Great to have you here. And I hope that you enjoyed taking a look through, a little tour through the Academy Magic Man. All right, what else have we got? Magic Man says, I just got Clip Studio for the first time to use on my iPad Pro. There's so much here, it's fire. Awesome to hear that. It's really, really great. Yeah, jump into it, man, because as I said, this is just the tip of the iceberg. When you see the Academy uh, a month or two from now, and especially a year from now, like we're going to have entire lesson libraries filled out with anatomy and um, character design, environment design, sequential storytelling. Like there's so much still left to cover. And I know I'm kind of a one man army here, but I, I'm really looking forward to just delving into all of that. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna get other people to come on board, other artists who I look up to, who are super, super talented, and I'm going to get them to do lessons. And so really the How to Draw Comics Academy, I truly believe if it's not already, will become one of the, the top resources out there for aspiring comic book artists who want to master their craft. And I truly believe that. I truly mean that. Dark Era says, this is looking awesome. Heck yeah, man. I'm really pleased to hear that you like what you see there. 
<laughs> Magic Man says, wait, what? There's more? Yeah, there's, there's a lot to the Academy that I've added in there. Let me get it up again. I just want to get it here for some eye candy. All right, we'll, we'll get it over here. There we go. All right. Whoops. There we go. Um, <clears throat> Darker it says, are you excited? You're flinging, flanging, right I am. That's awesome, Dark Era. I'm really pleased to hear that. I hope you're excited. I hope you're feeling the energy, my friend. Uh, Wolverine says, agreed. Many times studying a good diagram and working out a way to handle it works best. Yeah, you know, and I love doing diagrams, Wolverine. I'm really, really good at breaking them down. And I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but I actually enjoy that process to break everything down and analyze it on a super deep level. Uh, you know, ultimately, I'd love to to create a how to draw book, maybe even one that is born within the How to Draw Comics Academy at some point. Okay, next up we have Magic Man says, "I just learned of a look at Image Master study of something you like, then draw it without looking at the image, then compare the two. Do you think this would be effective at learning? I just learned of." To look at the image master yeah well if you're talking about looking at an image studying it from reference drawing it out and then trying to redraw it without that reference yes i think that's an excellent way to study because then you can contrast and compare what you got right from observation and what you got right purely from your imagination okay Magic Man says, I'm super excited. Now I can learn the fundamentals. Heck, yes, you can, Magic Man. Uh, there's no better place to do so. Yeah, do it. Try it. Matt says, I found that diagrams are great, but I have to see muscles in motion. And toys and sculptures are amazing tools as well. They absolutely are, Matt. Hey, what if, Matt, you had a like an almost a, an animation sequence of frames that showed you the movement of the human arm from different angles would that be valuable to you do you think that uh you'd be able to get something out of that in just in terms of not just how anatomy looked when it was drawn but its functionality it's it's motion in play wolverine says Ah, that's the version of PS I still use, lol. Yeah, well, there you go, Wolverine. It's actually free now, so uh, you can use it completely legally. <laughs> Magic Man says, uh, this could be cool. Would Pure Ref work on a laptop? This would definitely be useful. Yes, Pure, work, Pure Ref works on a laptop. You can literally look it up now. You can donate them something. You don't have to, though, and you can download it for free. And, uh, and you can start creating your canvas of references right now. I highly recommend it. You can download it on, on your laptop for sure. Uh, Magic Man says, man, this is going to be awesome. I can't believe these are just added additions. Heck yes. Um, Matt says, this is an ad. A lot of talk. No drawing. I'm out. No worries, Matt. See you later, buddy. And good luck to you, my friend. Wolverine says, of course it's an ad. See, Wolverine's onto it. Um, you know, what is an ad, really? It is telling you about the kick-ass stuff that I've been working on, my friends, and I truly do hope that you will take advantage of it today. For 30% off using the coupon code below, which expires in four days, so make sure you jump onto it if you're interested. All right. Um, Magic Man says, already part of it, and I'm glad I signed up. Very, very pleased to hear that, Magic Man. That's awesome. Wouldn't be the same without you. Chuck Lee says, I wanted to like those ink drawing books, but they're extremely confusing. I wanted to like those ink drawing books, but they're... Oh, yes, I get what you're saying. Framed Ink. Framed Ink is an amazing book, and it will teach you a lot about setting up shots, a lot about contrast and framing. It is very information-packed, which can make it a little bit overwhelming, but 
There's a lot of good stuff in there. So I'd, I'd highly recommend to just, you know, read through it carefully a few times. It might take you a few reads to really take out of it what you want to get from it. But it, there's good, some really, really good information there. Uh, no, 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 no says, do you do classes online? I mean, not videos, but like feedback. Yeah. Like with the How to Draw Comics Academy, that's exactly what I'm offering. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, that's a hundred percent what I'm doing within the How to Draw Comics Academy. We're doing the lessons, you're doing the work, and then I'm giving you feedback on that work. And I'm not just giving you a little bit of feedback. I'm actually going through and really giving you the time and making sure that we comb through your work with a, with a, with great depth in order to make sure that nothing is left as a mystery. To, to iron out all the wrinkles within your art and to get you focused on the things you really need to be focused on in order to push yourself forward. Magic Man says, the only digital courses I liked were how to draw were from Udemy. A lot of the other classes didn't really offer anything in my opinion. Yeah, and look, I'm not saying either that those courses that are available on Udemy and Skillshare and even on howtodrawcomics.net aren't insanely valuable. There's a lot that you can learn from them. I learned everything I know from the David Finch courses and the Stephen Platt courses that I went through in the, in the No One workshop back in the day. But I find that um, now when I try to do a class online, I just never get around to it because um, I don't know. There's just like, I'll tell you something that I just... I'm educating myself right now, actually, on building out sites like the How to Draw Comics Academy because I want to make it better. And so I signed up to a workshop recently on building out uh, sites that are very similar to it. And it was it was scheduled to start at 5.30 a.m. my time today. And so that's really, really early. But guess what? I was there for it because it was live. And so there's, yeah, there's recordings as well that I could have watched, but I wanted to be there for the live airing of it. And so I just feel like that the live aspect of watching the classes that the How to Draw Comics Academy offers is a significant advantage to making sure that you actually sit down, watch the class and pay attention, hold yourself accountable and do the work while you're there. You know, that's what it's about. It's, it's essentially giving you a workshop three days out of the week and then giving you feedback on everything that you do throughout those workshops. All right, Chuck Lee says, is there a cost to signing up? Yes, there is a cost, but if you sign up and even, even if you use the 30% off discount, um, if you sign up and you decide that you're not getting the value that you were hoping to get out of the academy, no worries, you can unsubscribe at any time. And if you unsubscribe within two weeks of signing up, I'll even give you a full refund. So you really got nothing to lose, Chuck Lee. I highly suggest that you check it out and uh, and just you know at least give yourself two weeks to experience everything that it has to offer, see if it actually has a tangible impact on the quality of your art. And if it doesn't, then heck, I don't want you to stay subscribed. If it's not working for you, then the Academy isn't, might not be the, the ideal thing that you could be putting your investment into in order to get better at comic book art. But if you do find that you're surrounded by those like-minded peers that are encouraging you, that are getting you into the right mode that you need to be in to see maximum success with your art, and you find that the lessons are super valuable, that the accountability offered through the live sessions are, um, are really working for you, then heck, welcome aboard. Let's do this. Let's take this ride together and and help you get to where you want to be as a comic book artist. Magic Man says uh, it's a monthly subscription, but definitely worth it. Heck yeah! And I've tried to um, make it as affordable as possible for what is offered there. Like I said, man, this is a uh, this is basically a full time gig for me at this point in time. So I'm giving it my all. It is my number one focus right now. That's why I've been so scarce on social media. And I just I needed to do this video today here on YouTube to actually tell people about it, to tell people what I've been up to. And I don't think I've even formally announced the Academy on the YouTube channel here. So here it is. This is what's been happening behind the scenes, my friends. 
Bordine, Bordine says, keep on bringing the tutorials. Heck yeah, I will. And by the way, there's going to be more tutorials on the How to Draw Comics YouTube channel. I'm still going to be bringing those out. In fact, I'll be bringing out a few um, feedback and critique session uh, clips from the Academy as well, just because, man, some of those segments are so insightful and so profound that I couldn't have planned for them. So uh, I want to share some of the best ones with you here on YouTube. And uh, it'll give you a little taste as well as to what you can expect from the Academy itself. Um, Chuck Lee says, how is it going so far? Yeah, the man, the How to Draw Comics Academy is going amazingly well so far. It's, it's awesome. In fact, um, so we're getting to the point now where obviously those feedback and critique sessions are like, you know, four and a half hours long. So there will be a cutoff point when it comes to the amount of members that the Academy can actually uh, feasibly support. Because I don't wanna be cutting corners on any of this. I wanna make sure that every single member within the Academy, if they submit their work for feedback, get all the attention that I can possibly give them in helping them to move past whatever challenges they might be coming up against and helping them to make the improvements that I see that they can make that maybe are invisible to them that they could work on in order to push forward. But eventually, like, th there's no way the Academy will be able to support something like a thousand members, not unless I employ other people, which, um, you know, I, I like that the fact that it's actually really tight knit at this point in time that I can give people the attention that they deserve. And so, yeah, you know, if you do want to get in, definitely jump in, jump aboard. The Academy probably will close its doors at some point and open up later on, uh, depending on just just to help manage the um, the amount of people coming in and the amount of people going out. Because inevitably, you know, you might stay with the Academy for a good long time, for years. You might not need it for that long. You might get to where you want to get to within a few months, uh, you know, ultimately. So it's, um, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a, uh, it's an organic thing that's growing right now and it's going in a really good direction. The interest is definitely there. And I'm just really happy with some of the results that the members are seeing. Like with if you click the link in the description below and you head on over to the sales page, you'll actually see some side-by-side -side shots of what some of the members have achieved within just a week of signing up. It's really amazing. All right, so uh, Magic Man says, good, there's so many videos on here to learn from as well as the live streams. Absolutely, 100%. And Comics Made says, hey, those monsters look pretty cool. They sure do, Comics Made. You are, like I said, you have a natural talent for designing monsters. We've got to get you back for some more, in fact, I think. You get you to do a whole monster series for the wonderful members of the How to Draw Comics Academy. Magic Man says, no one offers all of this like you do at this low of a price, period. It's awesome how much you guys were able to pull off. Yeah, and guess what? It's 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 actually, um, I've been trying to figure out a way to get Ed Foychuk in on this and Robert Marzullo and even Mike Van Orden. Uh, at, at the moment, they're, they're kind of doing their own thing. So it's just me with the Academy. It's a lot to tackle, but man, it is super immersive for me. <coughs> it's something that, you know, I... um. It's really nice to have a singular focus at this point in time, something that I can work on, that I can nurture. And not just me, but I'm actually able to build this thing with the other with the members of the academy. You know, man, they're not shy. They're giving me the feedback that I really need to make it a valuable place because even though I come from the same place, you know, I I started as a comic book artist where very many other comic book artists begin. I'm not always going to be able to 100% know what is going to be most valuable to people. And so I really do depend on their input to make it an amazing place. And they've certainly helped it to get there. You know, every single little improvement, it's a full credit goes to the members of the Academy. So thank you if you're watching right now. And um, just on, on that magic, man, yes, I agree with you. I don't think that there's anything else quite like the How to Draw Comics Academy available for comic book artists. I think it is a unique, one of its kind kind of thing. And so 
definitely uh, very, very proud of what we've been able to create with it. Like I said, I just asked the questions. I was like, what, what are these courses missing? And then not only that, not only how can I fill those gaps, but then how can I improve on it? How can I, like, like I said, I'm an experimenter. I'm really trying to figure out uh, new ways of packaging together this information to make it more effective, to make it more hard hitting. Like I said, a four hour lesson on a specific topic, that can be really, really good on the surface, but maybe something more immediate and succinct would actually be more valuable in reality. So I'm gonna be testing out a few things and uh, and seeing how it all goes. But it's just so amazing to have so many members along for the ride at this point. So Chuck Lee says, how much for the Academy? So the Academy is $54 a month at this point. There's been uh, promotions and whatnot in the past. Um, and I think that sometimes people think that those promotions are gonna just last forever, but they don't. They actually go away after about four days. And sometimes they never end up um, coming down that much. So right now you can jump into the Academy for 30% off with the coupon code, um, Academy Open Day. Okay, you can see that in the description below. Academy Open Day. You can jump in for 30% off, and that's recurring. That's a recurring lifetime discount. So every single month, you get 30% off of your membership. And I'm not sure exactly how much that takes it down to, but you know, 30% is uh, is pretty is a pretty decent discount. So definitely, if if you're thinking of trying it out, Chuck Lee, just jump in there, sign up. And if you don't like it, unsubscribe, and I'll send you a refund within two weeks if you decide to unsubscribe within that two-week period. So there's really no risk. I'm taking it all on board. And the reason I'm so confident to offer you that two-week grace period where you can try it out and get a refund at the end if you decide that it's not for you is because I really believe in the value that it offers. You know, there, Basically, no one has asked me for a refund. And... Some people, of course, um, unsubscribe for a number of reasons. I always ask them. I always say, hey, so, you know, it's awesome that you unsubscribe. No worries. But I, I would love your feedback. And a lot of the time, it's not even because of the quality of the academy. And they'll literally tell me that in their response. It's usually for reasons uh, caused by time. Um, you know, some some people just have to, you know, they, they're changing jobs or they're they're just moving through different stages within their life where they aren't able to dedicate the amount of time that they would otherwise be able to to get the most out of the academy. And so that's something I'm working on. That's that's one of the reasons I came up with the references idea and the little uh, information booklets for some of these topics, just so that those who were tight on time that couldn't sit there, didn't have the luxury to sit through a four hour lesson three times a week, uh, could just grab a hold of these booklets and get exactly what they needed to the, the pearls of wisdom very, very quickly, faster than they'd be able to get sifting through a four hour lesson. So yeah, it's little things like that that I'm, I'm really looking out for. Um, but yeah, hopefully that answers your question, Chuck Lee. It's a, it's a very good price for everything that's offered within there. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to add more into it to increase the value too. Yeah, Shadowworks Media says Edge is killing it. Absolutely, he is absolutely smashing it. Chuck Lee says, is this better than the Marvel drawing class that Proko is doing? Well, the thing with um so the thing with the How to Draw Comics Academy that significantly sets it apart from Proko is that the How to Draw Comics Academy is specifically focused on how to draw comic book art. So it gives you the fundamentals and everything for drawing in general, but it does it within the context of comic book art, which I personally believe is one of the most powerful arenas to learn drawing in. This is my personal opinion. But because it's so focused on comic book art specifically, there's there's really no distractions from any any other anything else. And so I've been putting my my most of my energy, all of my energy into just that particular I guess niche of drawing, you might say. So you get the live lessons. So that's the first thing is that the Marvel drawing class on Proko, it's not live, okay? Which means you don't get to ask questions uh, during a live class and uh, and you don't get that 
teacher-student interaction, live interaction that you get within the academy. Uh, next up, of course, you've got the community that's built in, but you've also got the uh, feedback sessions that directly relate to the, the lesson that you've been watching within the academy. And I know that uh, feedback is offered through Proco, but not at the level that I'm offering it, okay? Uh, and Proco is amazing, by the way. I've actually bought a few of Proco courses because he's an amazing teacher. And, and that's why I can say with confidence that when you sign up to the How to Draw Comics Academy, what you're offered there does have some differences to uh, Proco because I've experienced Proco's stuff. And his stuff is really, really amazing. I'm 100%. But um, you know, you're not going to get Let's see, how many lessons on perspective did we do? We did like five or six lessons on perspective, each going for four hours each. There's no way that you're going to get that in the Marvel drawing class on Procro. So that's just, um, at least as, as far as I know. But uh, yeah, in the end, I would say, it's, you know, try both. Heck, I don't know if uh, Proco offers refunds, Chuck Lee, but you know, invest in that course, invest in the academy. You know that you got that two-week grace period to get a refund if you decide the academy isn't for you. Sign up, check it out. If it works for you, awesome, great. If it doesn't, no harm, no foul, right? And you can stick with the, the Proco course, uh, which again, I'm sure is really great. I might even pick it up myself. But if we're talking about differences, that's that's sort of the differences that I've observed. Um, Chuck Lee says, not sure, but in the feedback and critique sessions, you get a lot of value from Clayton giving your work feedback. It's awesome to hear Shadow Works. I'm glad that you're feeling that value. Uh, Comics Mate says, that Doom guy was awesome. Yeah, Rex, uh, Rex is just smashing it. And actually... Uh, Rex received a critique, like some feedback from me on that Doom guy. Started out as a very different piece where Doom guy was kind of standing straight up against the wall rather than coming forward. So we were trying to work out a way for Doom guy to actually become more of a focus, to take up more space on the page. And so we totally revamped that composition. And that's why it's looking the way that it's looking right now. In fact, uh, at some point, I'll do a side by side of that one because it's just amazing watching people's work transform through these feedback and critique sessions and just the amounts of which they develop and learn feedback session after feedback session shadowworks has so graciously donated twenty dollars thank you my friend you are so kind and i really do appreciate your support and he says uh, Clayton, the live sessions are worth their weight in gold i started from zero and now i am executing things i never thought i could during the live sessions. Thank you for being an awesome teacher and mentor, James. Thank you, James. I truly do appreciate those words. And it just makes it totally worthwhile when I get feedback like that. So that's very heartfelt and heartwarming for me. Appreciate that, James. Thank you. And I'm so glad that you're part of the Academy with us. We have our uh, Lun Luniverse. Hey, Luniverse, what's going on? I hope that you're doing well. Uh, our Luniverse says, I need this. Thank you, Button. Ah, you're very welcome, my friend. I'm very pleased to hear that. Uh, please do check it out. As I said, there is a 30% recurring discount code that you can use in the description below if you want to sign up today and just try it out. Try it out for two weeks. If you don't like it, unsubscribe and ask me for a refund and I'll, I'll refund you. All good. No worries. Uh, you don't lose out on anything. I take on all the risk there. But hey, if you try it out and it turns out that it is the game changer you've been looking for within your art, then that is significant. And, uh, and you'll be thanking me that you decided to take the gamble. I hope. Anyway. All right. Chuck Lee says, yes, great idea. Cool stuff. Uh our Luniverse says, where do I find the price on the program? So you can find the price on the program by clicking the link in the description below Luniverse. And if you click join now, it'll take you down to the pricing plans that are available. There is a monthly subscription and a full year annual subscription, if you'd prefer that. 
And the reason that it's a, 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 a subscription as opposed to, you know, just another regular course is because it is ongoing. There is three new lessons coming out every single week. There's additional resources that are being updated, uploaded to that library. There is ongoing feedback and critique uh, sessions that happen within the academy. This is a journey that we are going on together. So... Yeah, it's um, it really depends on how long you want to stay f along for the ride. But man, you know, if you want someone there who's got your back, if you want that community who supports you along the way, then the academy really is the best place to be, in my opinion. Uh, yes, there's a yearly subscription, Chuckley. Absolutely. Definitely recommend checking it out. You can get it for a slightly more discounted price on that too. Um, Al Universe says, look like a villain, but your actions scream hero. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, look, you know, the funny thing is my brother, Corey Button, also a comic book artist, he's always saying that I look like a villain. Must be the bald head. I don't know what's going on. Or this void of darkness behind me. I think it looks professional though, you know, clean cut, clean shaven. Uh, saying Rick says, hey, Clayton, I currently have your entire set of proportions tutorials that you compiled since I think... I bought your training program and I've leveled up like since I committed to practice. Man, saying Rick, that is so awesome to hear that. Especially because I put so much time and energy and thought into that proportions course. So many years ago now, you know, when howtodrawcomics.net was just starting out, it's still one of my proudest courses that I've ever done and the information in that is solid. And I'm really glad to hear that it's working for you because proportions is just, it's one of those things that, that impact the artwork of, of many aspiring beginner artists and they just don't see it. Like e even advanced artists can miss proportional errors within their work. So pro getting your proportions down and mastering that particular fundamental of comic book illustration is absolutely paramount. You want to make sure you get a handle on it. And it looks like you are in the process of doing that. St. Rick says, I want to know, despite purchasing your program on proportions, why exactly should I commit several more dollars to this program? So far, I've done two one-shot comics just by committing to my goal. Well, that's awesome, man. Like, I think don't enroll in the academy if you don't think you need it. If you feel like you're, you're at a place within your art that you're pretty comfortable. If you're looking to get better, if you're looking to advance beyond where you're at and reach the epitome of what you can possibly be as a comic book artist, then I would highly recommend the How to Draw Comics Academy. Get in there. And, uh, you know, yeah, the proportions course is really great. But, man, we're putting out lessons three times a week each, the same length as the entire proportions course. Um, so you're getting a ton of information uh, every single week downloaded into your brain and you're being held accountable. You're watching them live. You're putting it the work into action. You're getting feedback on your art, personalized feedback from me to you on exactly what you need to focus on in order to advance your, your artwork further. So, yeah, man, you got to weigh it up for yourself and, and figure out whether or not you think it's worth it. Definitely hit the link in the description below. Read through all the details to see exactly what you get for the investment that you're making. And you know what, man? If you're not getting a return on that investment that is significantly higher than the monetary value that you're putting into the Academy each month, then, hey, man, there's that two-week period where you can unsubscribe and get a full refund. Or if you decide to stay longer, you can just unsubscribe at any point, whatever point it just, you decide that it's not serving you anymore. But I think that you'll find when you do decide to jump into the How to Draw Comics Academy, it's, man... It offers so much more than anything else out there. And I specifically designed it that way to ensure that it did. Uh, you know, it's so much more than just a course. It's, it's definitely far and beyond the course. In fact, I would say that the video library, all that content that you've seen there, it's not even the best part. The real value within the How to Draw Comics Academy, in my personal opinion, is the live feedback and critique sessions and the How to Draw Comics Academy community. That's what, where I think the true value is. But heck, if you're an information nut and you just want loads and loads of comic art know-how available to you on a constant stream, then 
you'll get that in the academy as well every single week. Seeing Rick says, will your program really help me further? I think it will. I think it will with the if you if you if you watch the lessons, you put what you're learning into action and you take on board the feedback that I give you and execute on that feedback and you engage with the community 100%. Yes. But, you know, I can't make you put pencil to paper. So there's there's a part of it that's going to be on you know, on you as well. So you've got to um you've got to be really committed. And in fact, even on the How to Draw Comics Academy sales page, I say, you know, if you're not 100% committed to developing your skill set if you can't take on feedback if um if you're somebody who can't hold yourself accountable and actually do the work within the lessons do not sign up to the how to draw comics academy because it's not going to be able to serve you to its greatest capacity unfortunately but if you're serious about and and committed to developing your skills as a comic artist if you want to master this craft how to draw comics academy will give you everything you need. You just got to do what it takes, right? You've got to make sure that you actually put the work in. Al Universe says, is there a specific lesson that you highly recommend should be our first lesson as a beginner or is any of the lessons under beginner a good start? Well, I would say it really depends on where you're at as a beginner. All the lessons are strategically ordered. So it starts off with just line. So mastering line alone. Then we move on to shape. Then we move on to form. Then we move on to presenting form within perspective. And then figure drawing and proportions and that kind of stuff. And so all of these lessons are ordered from the very, very beginner content through to more advanced stuff. And so as you get as you go deeper into each category, you're going to get more and more advanced lessons that build on top of the knowledge you learned in the previous lesson. Okay, so yeah, uh, I would say if you're a beginner, start at lesson number one, start with line. If you're a little bit beyond beginner, maybe you feel pretty comfortable with shape and line and contour, then get into more form and start working with that. Man, there is some challenging lessons there though, especially when you're talking about breaking down complex objects into simplified forms so that you can visualize and project them down onto the page from a multitude of different angles. That's when things get uh, pretty crazy. But hey, if you do the exercises in there and you repeat it uh, on a regular basis, then I think that you'll get a handle on every single aspect of those fundamental drawing principles. The other thing that I will say is if, if you watch something within these lessons that you don't quite understand or that you feel like you need more clarification on, you can very easily let me know within the How to Draw Comics Academy within the forum, within the How to Draw Comics Academy community. And I'll do a lesson on it. I'll expand upon that particular aspect of the previous lesson that you didn't get. And I'll make it into a whole other new lesson in order to make sure that you 100% understand what's been talked about. Lars says, holy F, you are as bald as my newborn daughter. Yeah, that's right. I'm 100%. I actually have to shave. Um, I need to wax it to wax it later Lars I've let it grow a little bit too long so I'm gonna keep it keep it tight what do you think was underneath my beanie the whole time Lars <laughs> uh, our universe says do you have animation lessons if we want to turn our drawings to cartoons if not will you in the future I could very well incorporate them into the Academy Library in the future. I think that what you need to be able to become an incredible animator, though, is the ability to draw utilizing the fundamentals to a great degree of mastery. And then you can get into what makes an animation an animation. And certainly we'll, we'll probably move on to that in the future, quite possibly. It really, uh, there's a lot of other ground to, to cover before we get to that point, though. But, uh, but with the skills that uh, I can teach you, you will be able to animate. Like I can animate. I can draw a character going from one position to another because it's about how you're able to break things down and visualize them inside your mind and then project them down onto the page. That's the true key. All right. Next up, we have Dark Era New Vegas says, I've been a web developer for 20 years. If you want some help. Yeah, Dark Era, look, if you've got any advice and any tips for me, any critiques on how I could make the Academy function better, I'm all ears. You can hit me up at Clayton Barton at howtodrawcomics.net. 
Love to hear from you, my friend. All right, Rina says, hi, what's going on, Rina? Great to see you here. Glad that you were able to make it. El Universe says, does the subscription renew automatically or can I manually resubscribe? So the subscription does renew automatically each month from the date you've subscribed. Okay, so if you subscribe on the 14th of this month, then your subscription will automatically renew on the 14th of next month. Now, if for some reason it can't renew on that day, you'll have a grace period of about a week before you end up unsubscribed. So that was another uh, piece of feedback that I received from some of the members is that they would accidentally completely get unsubscribed because uh, the, the funds just weren't available on the day. And so, yeah, you have about one week if you miss, miss the uh, initial, uh, I guess, renewal of your subscription, you'll have a, a week where it will continue to try to automatically uh, charge you. But then if it doesn't work after that week, you, you will end up unsubscribed. Now, you can manually unsubscribe at any time, by the way. So um, there's that. However, any discounts that you would have applied to your membership, because all the discounts I give are lifetime discounts, they're recurring. But if you unsubscribe and you had a really good discount applied to your membership, you'll unfortunately lose that. There's, there's no way around that for me, unfortunately, as much as I'd like everybody to just keep that even if they unsubscribe. But uh, yeah, so hopefully that answers your question there, Lunaverse. Doug Iris says, I'm changing jobs, so not sure if I can afford it at the moment, but I hope to get this soon. Absolutely, Doug Iris. I hope that you're able to as well. And look, you never know. There might be a, another uh, promotion that I end up doing later on in the future that, you know, takes the price down to a point that you're able to actually, you know, jump in there at a... Uh, at a rate that you feel is comfortable for you. But yeah, I, I don't plan these out or anything. So we'll see what happens, but keep an eye out. And heck, who knows, man? I, I really do hope that you're able to make it in there and, and hang out with us, learn with us and get everything that the Academy has to offer because it, it's definitely worth it in my opinion. If if comic book illustration is, is really something that you're passionate about. Our Lunaverse says, I just signed up. It looks very promising. Pleased to hear that, Lunaverse. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. And by the way, if you want to send me an email, anyone who's already subscribed to the How to Draw Comics Academy, you can send me an email at claytonbarton at howtodrawcomics.net. Give me your feedback. Let me know how your experience has been inside the Academy, what you love about it, what you hate about it, what you'd like to see more of, what you'd like to see less of, and Man, uh, that will be so valuable. That is like gems that I can use to make the Academy even better, to improve upon it. And that is what I am all about, is giving you what it is you're looking for. All right, Luniverse says, I was just messing with you. You look great, Clayton. Oh, thank you so much, Luniverse. I really do appreciate that. <laughs> look, I, uh, I've settled down. I've settled down. I'm at the age of 34 now i figure my looks aren't going to improve beyond this point so i've kind of accepted my fate wherever i'm at and uh you know the best i can do is work on shaping my beard um because i've lost the hair everything else, everywhere else on my head uh chuck lee says Will your brother do anything for the program? Yes, I've been talking to Corey. Uh, so the next thing Corey will be doing for the How to Draw Comics Academy is we're going to be revamping the look of the How to Draw Comics Academy with some cool new art. I'm going to be doing the line art. Corey is going to be doing the colors. And um, the other thing that Corey will be doing for the Academy is he's going to be releasing some comic book coloring tutorials, some comic book coloring lessons within the How to Draw Comics Academy. I think that he has developed one of the best coloring methods for comic books. You know, it, it takes all the goodness that was beautiful looking and amazing about the coloring, the, the cut and grad styles of the 2000s comic books that you've seen coming out of Image. And he he's taken that and he's assimilated it down into a really easy to execute process that is non-destructible. In other words, what it allows you to do is it allows you to get all the shading in there 
and make it look really nice. And if you want to change colors around later on, you can easily do that. So that, that's what his color, particular coloring method allows for is customization later on. It's really awesome stuff. Shadowworks Media says, oh, wow, another $10 donation my friend you are just spoiling me today and i really do appreciate it you're the best what can i say thank you so so much he says uh james says um clayton did we have a winner for monthly activity in the community forums did you plug the free session students get for activity in the community forums also did i win for march ah yes okay so i know i know who you are now you're james uh, yes, one of our most uh, active members of the How to Draw Comics Academy. You know what? I've been away for the last week, uh, James. So I'm going to look at that today and I'm going to send it um, out an announcement to the Academy members as to who has won that. But thank you for so much for reminding me because that's something that I should have mentioned to everybody here right now that when you sign up to the How to Draw Comics Academy, one other opportunity that you'll get each month is the chance to have a two-hour mentoring session with me one-on-one. -on -one. And that session, we can go over anything you like. We can talk about art. We can talk about life. We can talk about a specific thing that you want to learn about. We can talk about a specific piece of work that you'd like some help on. We can talk about anything during that time. And... Uh, and you'll get that if you're the most active member of the How to Draw Comics Academy community. So it's actually an incentive to get engagement happening, more engagement happening within the How to Draw Comics Academy. James, you're definitely somebody who is uh, in the running for that from what I've been seeing on the forums. But um, yeah, there's, there's actually a fair few people who have been jumping in there and leaving just these huge... Uh, responses to people's work it's, it's really amazing to see but yes james don't worry that is coming and thank you for the reminder so again if you're the most active member within the how to draw comics academy community you will get a complimentary two-hour mentoring session with me personally and you get the chance to win that every single month so yeah that's a that's a sweet little perk that i've incorporated uh our universe says Again, thank you, Barton. I am in knowledge heaven with this program. I'm so pleased to hear that, our Lunaverse. That is fantastic to know. Uh, please let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear your progress and, and just all about your experience with the Academy, Lunaverse. Eat some seaweed says, congratulations. Your hard work on this shows looks fantastic. Well, I'm very pleased to hear that, Eat some. Thank you so much, my friend. Chuck Lee says, with the white beard, you probably look a lot older than your brother now. Absolutely. I 100% do. I think I probably look about five years older, maybe even older than that, than I actually am. But that's okay. I don't mind a, a bit of more of a mature uh, a mature look to my, to my, uh, my appearance. <laughs> All right. Yes, I know everyone. Everyone's shocked about the bald head. I get it. It's um, it's something I anticipated actually because I haven't been here for a while. Things have changed, man. I lost all my hair, uh, but I'm back. I'm I'm making a comeback now. Magic man says, "Will do, sir." Uh, Magic man says, "I'm 30 with two kids now, so I can relate, and a wife." <laughs> yes. Well, you know, I'm getting there myself, Magic Man. Magic Man says, oh, I got a question. Are we going to turn this into like an app? I could see that reaching more people. There's a possibility of that, Magic Man. You know, I'm really just, well, you know, ultimately you can experience the How to Draw Comics Academy on mobile, on your tablet. It's all uh, very, uh, what do they call it? Responsible, responsive web design. So you can experience on, on your favorite portable devices. Um, as to whether or not it will become an app, it may very well become an app in the future. For now, I'm just focusing on building out the, the actual academy before we jump into that, before I focus on it, just because, you know, I got to make sure that I, I put my energy in the in the most optimal places when it comes to the academy. There's so much to it, so much that I want to integrate into it that, yeah, by the end of the week, you know, 80% of my time has, has actually been taken up with the academy. And um, 
And there's so much more I even want to add to it. I'm just figuring out, hey man, how can I carve out more time to do all the stuff that I want to do for it? It's so, uh yeah, there's a lot of cool things that are planned. Magic Man says, uh, like a how to draw comics app. Yeah, you know, I think we actually were in the process of maybe making one of those. Um, it's actually pretty easy to convert the site into an app somehow um, through, we use a website builder called Wix. Um, I got to look more into it though. And uh, it might, I don't think it's already available, but I'll, I'll look into it for you, Magic Man. Absolutely. It would be cool to get a proper app going for it though. I agree with you on that. Magic Man says, oh, that's awesome. I remember doing a two-hour sessions with you. Those were awesome. Yeah, very nice. Well, I'm pleased to hear that, Magic Man. That's great. Uh, Dark Era says, as a software engineer developer for so long, apps are a nice touch, but not necessary. Gotcha. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll figure it out. You know, there's a really bright future ahead for the How to Draw Comics Academy and as I keep saying, I'm just looking forward to seeing where it goes in the coming weeks, in the coming months, and especially the coming years. I'm in it for the long haul, and I really want to make sure that uh, I push forward with this, that I make it the best that it possibly can be. I really do want it to be the number one learning resource for comic artists all around the world. And so if you've got feedback, if you're an Academy member, and you can help me figure out a way to make sure that that is a guarantee I am all ears. I will do whatever it takes to serve you in the best way possible and help you to get the results that you're looking for within your comic book art. Well, this just about rounds up our How to Draw Comics Academy Open Day, our little tour through the How to Draw Comics Academy. I truly do hope that you give the How to Draw Comics Academy a go and there's every reason to do so because in the description below, you're going to find a direct link to the How to Draw Comics Academy landing page where you can sign up today for 30% off using the discount coupon code Academy Open Day. It's going to give you 30% off recurring each and every single month until you decide to unsubscribe. Okay, so it's a lifetime discount. And the best part about it is even if you sign up with a discount, you still don't think that the How to Draw Comics Academy is for you. If you unsubscribe within two weeks and you ask for a refund from me, I'll give it to you. So there's nothing to lose here and everything to gain, so much more to gain. So I really do hope that you give the How to Draw Comics Academy a chance and that it serves you well. All right. Well. Until next time, I will see you back here on the How to Draw Comics YouTube channel and Facebook very, very soon with more tutorials, more pearls of wisdom when it comes to the art of comic book illustration. Until, until then, keep on practicing, keep on drawing, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.